the Ferrari in, 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 in Patna. Um, they're travelers of every, every, every type. So this is, this, this is his memory of traveling in India. Uh, uh, he traveled a little bit further, fur, further west to Ghazipur, where he, which was uh, where the company, East India Company, had their opium factory. Um, and there he would have left the East India Company's territory. And he, from uh, Ghazipur to Lucknow, he would have had an extremely tough journey. Um, uh, um, Hodges, in his travels, um, comments um, frequently on the, difficult, the, the, the number of d dacoits he had to deal with between, between Ghazipur and Lucknow. So after an incredibly difficult journey, Zofni finally arrived in, in, in Lucknow at the very beginning of June, 1784. And he was immediately greeted by the Governor General. And he was, literally the day after he arrived, he was set to work on this portrait of the Shah Zada, um, Prince Juwan Bakht. Um, the, 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 the prince had, had, had escaped from Delhi a month earlier. Um, he, he'd come to Lucknow to try and seek some help from uh, the uh, Nawab and from uh, uh, Hastings um, against the, to, 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 to seek assistance um, against the competing enemies that were trying to take over Delhi. Um, uh, Hastings had the highest possible opinion of Prince Juan and Bakht. He was, he was the, the heir to the throne, to the Mughal throne. He was the eldest, eldest son. Um, and here he's shown just very simply dressed in a, in a Muslim jama um, without any jewels of any kind. Um, I, I think that emphasizes not only his extraordinary modesty and charm, but also the extent to which the Mughals had their, 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 their fortune had plunged um, at the end of the 18th century. Only, only his sword is indicative of kingship. Um, this painting um, was done for Hastings, um, and it, 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 it um, uh, um, was included in the Zofni exhibition in, 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 in uh, 2012 at the Royal Academy. It's, it retains its also its original Hastings frame. This painting, this, this painting is in the Victoria Memorial, and um, it, it's, a, it's an oil sketch, and it shows the same Nawab, sorry, the same Shahzada, Prince Juan Bakht, with Warren Hastings. Uh, um, this is Warren Hastings here, and Asaf Udala, the Nawab. And I've been able to identify a few of the other figures. Um, there is my ancestor, William Palmer, who was military secretary to Warren Hastings. And next to him, the only one wearing boots, I might say, um, was, is um, Antoine Pollier. This is Col Colonel Mordant. And this is Claude Martin. The figure here is probably David Anderson, um, Warren Hastings' private secretary. Um, this is a... This is one of only two oil sketches that survives from Zofni's period in India. Um, the other one has only, again, very recently come to light. And in fact, this, this painting helped us identify the one that has recently come to light. Um, sorry, on the, on the left-hand side is the resident Colonel Harper. Um, in, um, Lucknow must have been, was completely and totally different from Calcutta. Calcutta in the late 18th century and the 1780s, despite its huge Hindu and Muslim population, revolved around the European presence in the city. Um, that presence had a, an impenetrable social structure. Um, it was overfond of, of opulence, and it had a very narrow outlook that precluded any real interest in Indian life. But there were exceptions. The Hastings was extremely broad-minded and had considerable interest in, 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 in Indian life. And, and, and there were people like Sir William Jones, the founder of the Asiatic Society also. But generally, it was a very closed society here. Lucknow was com completely and totally different. 
and it would have given uh, um, Europeans, visitors and travelers there, um, it, it would have been a, a remarkable um, transformation um, because it offered opportunities both for pleasure and for extraordinary enrichment. Um, the, um, the Nawab, um, Asaf Udala, has generally been incredibly badly treated by history. In fact, um, he was a very, very remarkable man in his way. Um, he, he, the English wrote about his, his debauchery and his laziness. But in fact, he was the creator of Lucknow. He built the magnificent city. Um, he, he attracted from Delhi, um, the greatest poets, the greatest artists, the greatest musicians. Um, he, had, he had stables full of elephants and horses, and the most beautiful boats plied the, plied the river. Um, he's not to be underrated by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and the, uh, quite, there are quite a number of surviving portraits other than this of the Noir. But for Zofany, um, the real revelation was he was able to study Indian India. And um, this, this painting was done in 1786. It shows uh, um, Colonel Blair and his wife and his two daughters um, in their house in, in Khan Paul. Um, but it also shows, for the first time, often his real interest in Indian India with the three paintings on, on the back wall. In the center, um, we see another view of Sikra Gali. Um, and there, there is, underneath the uh, bluff, there is, there is a, 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 um, a, probably a, a lady of high rank traveling in a covered um, bullock cart with her elephants in the foreground. And in the foreground, in, 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 by the river, um, there are a group of, uh, of, of, of Indians that um, is often particularly like to study. On the, on the far right there is a, is, is a subject that fascinated Zofany, Charak Puja, that's hook swinging. Charak Puja survives even to this day. Um, it's actually quite a gruesome form of puja, whereby hooks are um, put through the uh, uh, um, supplicant's um, um, uh, muscles uh, of his back, and he, he swung round on a, on, 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 on a hook at some considerable height. We don't know of any paintings that have survived of this. But on the other side is a painting of Sati, another subject that fascinates Zofany. Why, why was that Zofany so fascinated by it? I think the reason is, and I, 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 this is only my supposition, because unlike other artists, um, like the Daniels and Zah Sumphrey and Hodges, Zofany left no accounts of his travels. There's almost no, no, nothing written by Zofany about his time in India. And therefore, all the evidence that I have has come from either his, the few drawings that survive or paintings like this. But I believe that actually he was fascinated by Zofany because he'd married in Germany and he had divorced his first wife and she plagued him for the rest of his life for money and he cordially hated her. And I suspect he wished that he'd, she, he'd been able to put her onto a sati pa. Um, but that's only a supposition. Um, this brings us to, to the next great painting um, done in Lucknow at roughly the same period, which Naman is going to speak about in much, much greater depth. But let me just describe a little bit about it. In the center of the painting is, is Zofany himself seated in the front of an easel. This is Colonel Antoine Pollier, who we saw earlier in the, in the, in the painting of um, um, Prince Juan Bacht. He's pointing to uh, a, 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 a basket of fruit and that is generally considered to be a trope representing ownership of land. And I don't know if you can see, but in the background, there is a monkey holding, one, holding a banana. And the monkey has quite clearly stolen one of the bananas from off this and gone behind the easel and is holding it up. And I think this is a playful joke of Zofany's 
um, uh, um, saying that uh, uh, Pollier was much too attached to, to the ownership of land in an extraordinary transient world. Um, this is Claude Martin, Colonel Claude Martin, um, and he's pointing to, um, uh, sorry, just, just to go back to Pollier, he was the chief engineer, and on the table next to him, he was a, a formidable collector, and, in, and he, he commissioned a great number of uh, uh, miniaturists from the leading painters in Lucknow, and two of these, his albums, like this one, survive in Berlin. Um, um, uh, Martin, on the other hand, was, he was, was um, um, uh, um, uh, uh, the Nawab's uh, chief of the arsenal, and he's pointing to um, the house that he built himself in Lucknow called the Farad Baksh, which also still stands, and it's just being restored, I believe, by Intac. And it's where Zofany stayed throughout his stays in Lucknow. And the third figure is John Moonwell, who was the paymaster for the East India Company in Lucknow, an enormously lucrative uh, um, post. So Zofany here is surrounded by his closest friends in, 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 in Calcutta, sorry, in Lucknow, um, but they are perhaps not cast in the best of lights, and Naman, I think, will discuss that. Um, just to briefly show, discuss the paintings on the walls, um, in the center um, is, the light seems to, oh, there we are. In the center, this is the falls of Mutijana, um, which is, lies a few miles north of Raj Mahal. And on the right um, is the, uh, um, uh, this, this, this is Kara. And this is important because the Nawab, in a hurry to build um, a Lucknow, didn't have time to, to make enough bricks and stone. And he robbed um, Kara, which was an ancient Muslim capital, of all its building materials and transported them all to, 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 to Lucknow um, for the building of, of the city. And uh, this, 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 this actually still survives, this, 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 this tomb on the guards. This is another sati scene, a different type of sati scene, again indicating Zofany's extraordinary fascination for this subject. And in fact, there are th there were three further recorded paintings of Sati by Zofany, one of which came to light in the 1990s and was included in, in the 2012 Zofany exhibition. Um, as, an as an indication of his, 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 his feeling of the transience of life, um, this, is, this, this, this painting, small painting here shows a Hindu being brought to die on the edge of the Ganges. Um, this is, uh, on the other side, is a, 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 a skirmish, a military skirmish. And this strange painting here shows naked fakirs. Why he chose to have a naked female fakir, I leave Namia, Naman to tell us. It's very strange, and I'm not certain myself why he did. Zofany himself had a great attraction to young women. Um, and um, had, um, had a, a, a bibi in Lucknow, and in fact had a son by her. And this is a few details of the, of the painting. This is, this is Kara, uh, um, Muti Jana, the most beautiful falls in my mind in India. This is arguably the greatest masterpiece that was ever done in India. Um, this is uh, called Zofni's, uh, this is called Colonel Morden's Cock Match. Um, it's presently uh, um, held by the Tate Gallery in London. It was painted like the portrait of Prince Juan Bakht for Warren Hastings um, over quite a long period. Zofany's um, remarkable ability was to combine a great number of figures in one composition, an, an extraordinarily difficult feat that defeated most artists. And he, yet here, he not only included over 90, 90 different figures, but he characterized each of them with great precision and care. The painting shows um, a, a, a cockfight um, between two protagonists. On the one side, 
um, is the Nawab. And here is Colonel Mordaunt, a close friend, um, perhaps his closest European friend in Lucknow. It's, it's said that um, when Mordaunt died, um, um, the, uh, the Nawab weeped bitterly for days. Just to show you a few of the other figures, this is the Nawab's uncle, Salah Jang, and this is his chief minister, Hassan Reza Khan. And this figure here is um, Heidebeg, who we saw disappearing into the distance. Um, he was rather an unlikable fellow, actually. This is Zofany himself, looking rather worn. He got very ill in Lucknow by the end, and it shows him obviously feeling rather old and worn, um, hence his interest in the transience of life. And beside him is a, a fellow artist, Azaz Humphrey, who in, in India was painted miniatures, um, uh, but not, um, not oil paintings. And just to show you one or two other figures, this is Claude Martin. This figure here was for many years thought to be Antoine Pollier, but this is completely incorrect. Um, Pollier is not shown in this painting, and it actually um, is Colonel Harper, the resident. The Nawab has actually just got up from this seat, this vacant seat here next to, next to Claude Martin. And above him, and I, I think it's quite difficult to see, is um, a, 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 a green umbrella, which was indicative of his claim to be a Sayyid or descendant of the, uh, 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 of the Prophet. Um, he was, of course, a Shiite, and his claim is somewhat suspect. Um, why is this the greatest painting? I think this epitomizes the whole atmosphere of Lucknow. Um, it's brilliantly colorful, it's animated, it's diverse, and it's somewhat chaotic. But it also emphasizes that at the time, Indians and Europeans got on remarkably well in Lucknow. But even more important, um, Muslims and Hindus jostled together watching this spectacle. Um, today, we, we consider cockfighting um, a very cruel and unpleasant sport. But in the 18th century, it was a sport enjoyed by both Europeans and Indians of every social, at every social level, and it was enormously popular. Um, um, uh, no other painting so, so, so much epitomizes the, the, the relationship or the, the, the atmosphere of Lucknow in, in the last years of the 18th century. Now, this is the most bizarre painting that Zoffany ever painted. Um, and it shows a very different side of both Lucknow and the artist. This, again, only came to light a few years ago. And not, not even a few years ago, two years ago. And it came from the same source as the, as the painting in the Victoria Memorial of Prince Jawan Bakht with Warren Hastings, the moonlight scene that we saw earlier. Um, here he's being extremely satirical. Um, he is pointing at, uh, um, um, that the, on, on the left is the um, Nawab, um, Asaf Udala, and the almost naked boy is suggestive of Asaf Udala's well-known homosexuality. The naked breast of the young lady is probably an indication of Zofany's own fascination for young ladies. So it's, it's a painting that looks at the, perhaps the darker side of life in Lucknow at the period. Um, it's extraordinary that such a painting has actually survived. The next painting, this, 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 this is the most recent discovery. This was only, only, only came to light 18 months ago. And uh, uh, um, nobody had any idea until yeah, uh, uh, um, it, it appeared on the market in London um, in December uh, uh, of 2016 um, of its existence. And it's a small oil sketch um, showing um, a group of Muslim traders um, playing chess 
um, in a fairly modest interior. Um, but it harks back to many of his earlier paintings. There's a famous painting of the farmer's return done in England that, that has an almost identical composition. And indeed, the, the composition of these figures mirrors the, the composition of the Prince Juan Bacht and Warren Hastings and the Nawab um, moonlight scene. Um, it's, this is a very small painting in comparison with that, but it's similarly an oil sketch, and it was probably done either in, Lakna, uh, either in Calcutta or possibly in Dhaka. Zofni made a number of other journeys in, 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 um, in India. From Lucknow, he frequently visited uh, um, Claude Martin's country estate, Najafgarh, which was near Kanpur. Um, he also, in the winter of 1786, went with John Wombwell, who we saw in the Polier conversation piece, to Agra. And uh, uh, um, it's rumored that he even went as far as the outskirts of Delhi, but the dangers of Delhi precluded him from actually getting into the city. Um, there is one painting which I sadly don't have a photograph of um, because it's in a private collection and I was unable to get a photograph of it, of that, that, that represents that journey. And it's, of, it's a watercolor, and it's the only watercolor known by Zofany um, to survive from that period. Um, it's a large, full-scale watercolor of the Kanch Mahal uh, um, at um, Fatipur, uh, sorry, not Fatipur Sikri, at, um, it's adjacent to uh, Akbar's tomb at Sikandra. Um, he also made a journey to Dhaka. Um, again, scholars had no idea of this until um, the time of the exhibition. And this painting had been known for many, many years. Um, but I was never able to identify the scene. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a remarkable masterpiece of painting. Um, it, it shows...